mask. That's crazy. I didn't even have it on that long, but that's a bad. I don't know why when we come to Sam, he thinks he has to get. Oh, not this time. Thank you. But anyway, so yeah, I can't wait to show y'all my new lesson. I'm getting all my time in, so we're gonna come in here to America to get to. But anyway, I'm all over the place. But oh my gosh, get to the store. Hey y'all, it's your girl Stay Haul and welcome to another Stay Haul crazy vlog. Now, this is Stay Haul in the future or the present, depending on what part you're watching. And I normally don't jump on and introduce the vlog, but this one is going to be all over the place. I mean, we're gonna start at the parking lot of Walgreens and then we're gonna end up back here on the couch. Y'all are just gonna spend a couple of crazy days with me. Um, the Walgreens story is crazy. Um, I'm still thinking about that. Uh, yeah. So let me know what y'all think, but, um, you haven't heard the story yet, but you will once this vlog gets started. Um, but yeah, just let's spend some time together. All right. I'll see y'all back here on this couch in just a couple of minutes. So I am clearly not able to find my find my light which that's not what I was looking for I was just looking for a comfortable place to hold this but I am sitting in the parking lot of Walgreens and so I checked out at Walgreens I was going in because I want to get in the pool this evening like yeah yeah I'm a cornball but I'm determined I'm getting in the pool like every day I can so yeah and I'm out in my moo moo so get used to it which leads me to kind of what I'm about to talk about um went into Walgreens um, because at first, my first thing, what the heck, oh, see, <laughs> the windows just went down, I thought by themselves, but I leaned on it, but that's gonna have something to do with the story. Hilarious, I mean, the timing is great. So anyway, my first thing all the time when I need stuff is to look on Amazon. And I don't know if y'all are like that, but I have to remind myself often that there are other places to shop other than Amazon. So we need some sunscreen, some better sunscreen. We have like 15 SPF, uh, maybe 30 SPF, but I was just telling Wallace last night, um, if we're gonna be out in this water all the time, which is what I plan to do, um, because, you know, I bought that water, so I'm going to use it and I still haven't gotten that water bill, but we'll see. Cause I just paid the water bill, um, I think on Friday and it was only like 60 bucks. So clearly that pool fill up was not on there. And Wallace had told me that, um, somebody he was doing business with told him that if you get a pool, you can call and kind of negotiate for a lower rate or whatever, which sounded kind of crazy to me, but I tried it and they like, no ma'am, no ma'am. You, you're the one who decided to fill up that big outside tub. But anyway, let me get back to the reason why I jumped on here from the parking lot of Walgreens. So I get on Amazon and I find the 100 proof because I didn't even know they had 100 proof. Like my sister and Fred, my brother-in-law, tried to be all fancy when we were in Mexico and bust out their big 70 proof. But I found 100 proof, y'all, and not liquor. But is it proof? This keeps getting crazier and crazier. I keep saying proof. That's liquor. I mean, SPF. Lord help me. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Get to the story, lady. So, anyway, I found it on Amazon, but, um, and it was only like $9.97 a can, but they couldn't get it here until Thursday, and I wanted it today or tomorrow um, at the latest. So I was like, you know what? Let me see what Walgreens has. Surely uh, Amazon is not the only place that carries sunscreen, duh. Cause I refuse to go in Walmart or whatever. You know, I really have to hype myself up for that and know like days in advance that I need to go into Walmart. Cause that's just how my anxiety is set up and just my patience. So anyway, I get here to Walgreens and lo and behold, they have sunscreen 
100 SPF, I almost said proof again, and it was buy one, get one half off. So even though theirs was $12.99 a can, I got it buy one, get one half off. So I still end up paying like a couple of dollars less than that. Okay, so the camera just cut off and I don't know why. So this keeps getting stranger and stranger. So maybe, I wish, I just could not take a picture. But anyway, I got it. So, and it's a four in one, 100 proof copper to... If I say proof one more time, y'all can tell where my mind is. But stops up to 99% UV rays, resists sweat, heat, and water. So anyway, I got it. So they had it buy one, get one half off. So I got both cans for like 18 bucks. Cool, because it would have been like 20 with Amazon and I would have had to wait till Thursday. Didn't jump on here for any of that, but use your sunscreen. Um, and there's something I kind of want to talk about that I seen on TikTok that has me a little confused, but not really confused. But these um conspiracy theories and stuff sometimes kind of get to you but anyway i'm all over the place but the reason why i jumped on because i wasn't planning is because the cashier that checked me out had her face completely made up not not like regular makeup her whole face was painted white like white white like a mime and then all of her makeup lipstick eye makeup all of that was in black so when I walked in, there was no one there because there's hardly anyone in Walgreens, thank goodness, because I am out here in my moo, -moo. But, and my Crocs, mind you, um, because I wasn't planning on making this stop. I'm actually just gonna go pick up some to go food. But anyway, so when I go to the counter, I start walking up there and I look to see which register has a cashier and I see this person standing completely still with their face painted like the band Kiss and all kind of things are going through my mind first of all i was a little scared i'm not gonna lie because i'm like wondering because i'm goofy sometimes and again the way my anxiety set up i'm like is that a real person like am i being pranked or is this like a ghost is it whatever like i'm not even lying to y'all that's how odd it looked for the person who was working there then it ran through my mind what month is this i'm like no this is june it's not october no one would be dressing up but i was like you know what we are living in days where people are being more open-minded, um, less judgmental. So maybe she does work here and they just don't mind that makeup, which in a way is good, but it is a little, I mean, I was shocked at first and I was hesitant to walk up to her because again, my mind is just wired crazy because I'm like, what if she doesn't work here? Like, what if this is like some exorcist stuff or whatever? Because nothing is out of the realm of possibility to me i'm like if someone was able to create it with these movies and stuff i guess i'm always thinking anything can happen and this world is quite crazy these days but i said you know what god has not given me the spirit of fear there is no way let me just go with the fact that just living in a society today with all the craziness that goes on we do seem to be a little bit more open-minded which is good and a little more acceptive accepting of people's differences and whatever. So I walk up there and she's like, hey, are you ready to check out? I mean, just sounds completely normal. Why wouldn't she? But it was just so odd to me. And I wanted to ask her so bad, the lady in the moo moo, which probably would have been a good time to ask because if she wanted to say something back, she could have been like, well, why are you out here in your moo moo? And I'd have been like, you know what, true that. But I just was curious. I really wanted to ask her like, did you come to your interview made up like that? Did you discuss it in your interview? Or did you just show up one day with your face made up like that? Um, you know, how did they accept it? And just ask her like, why? Like, is this something you do every day? Or is there something special going on in your life? And, um, but I didn't, I didn't. I didn't feel like it was appropriate. I didn't know her. I've never seen her before in my life. But I am like just legitimately, um, curious about things like that when people just make a decision like this is what I'm gonna do and F it I don't care what anybody thinks like that's a good thing but with certain decisions I'm still just curious like why that why did you decide that that was gonna be the statement that you make or whatever you know but it was a very pleasant exchange we both wished each other a good day you know it was just regular but it did kind of shock me at first and so I couldn't be mad if Walgreens or whatever was like you can't do that because it could like for little kids or whatever like I'm not judging this girl at all for choosing that as her way of expression but you know at work it was just it was a little odd so it just shocked me so I just figured hey since this is what I do 
I might as well do it now and uh, just pull out this camera and talk to y'all and just find out, you know, what you think about that or if you've ever run into anything like that before. So now I'm at Walgreens. I like Walgreens better than CVS, but our insurance um, is better with CVS. So I'm getting ready to run over to CVS now and uh, pick up Big Mama blood pressure medicine um, and uh, go on with my day and go pick up my gumbo. And um, I'll just keep chatting with y'all on and off and just see where this vlog takes us because as you can clearly see, I have no idea, but you know, as always, we're going to make it do what it do, y'all. But let me know what you think about that and how you would feel. And if you just think I'm completely goofy because I was a little scared at first, like thoughts went through my mind because it was just strange to me. But anyway, all right, y'all. Uh, my bun keep getting stuck in the car. I guess I'm going to have to lift the top down. Uh, another wonderful day rushing around. See, I can never get my car locked. I don't know. Do y'all have these issues? It's supposed to be this hand thing. It works just fine for my husband. But with me, nothing's locked. Oh, there we go. There we go. And he did show me the little spot. So um, the youngin has gone on ahead of me, I guess. But yeah, we're up here at America's Best. Now, America's Best is funny because they always talk about two pairs for 79, free exams, this and that. But we always end up leaving here spending a lot of money. So I'm gonna see how much we gonna spend today on him. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be hanging out with this young man all day because he is leaving on the 16th. And so I'm getting all my time in. So we're gonna come in here to America's Best. And he's in there, y'all see him in there. I don't know if y'all can see him through the window. <laughs> I let him take care of his own business. He's 20 years old. He don't want his mama telling the people all the information that he knows on his own. But yeah, we're gonna get his eye exam and all that before he heads off to his internship. Make sure he has some good sturdy glasses that are up to date. And um, he's probably gonna try contacts again. He's been trying contacts since he was like 15. Every time he puts his finger anywhere near his eye, he closes his eye. We've had his sister try to help him. We thought, you know, of course, cause she's the nurse in the family, surely she can help him, but um, no, that didn't work either. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. So um, yeah, she said he was a hopeless case. He's never gonna wear uh, contacts. But then today he started talking about getting an eye transplant and I don't even know what that is but um yeah so let's go in here and see I don't even know what I was talking about but I do know we never end up with two pairs of anything for $79 so we're gonna see what we can make happen today so I'm the queen of killing two birds with one stone so now I'm getting an eye exam and getting some new glasses too. No need to just sit here. And we both need some specs. But see, he's gonna be fancy schmancy. He's just getting an exam. And he's ordering his um, glasses. Where are you ordering them from? Budget friendly. It's not called budget <laughs> friendly. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Zenny. Zenny? Zenny. Well, I'm getting mine here. <laughs> And I already picked a couple of pair. But yeah, they had some cancellations. <laughs> Why are you making that face? <laughs> Y'all see he cut all his hair off? Show the people your hair. Oh, no, I can't. You can't? Why? No waves yet. Oh, no waves yet. Yeah, but he cut his hair off. But anyway, so yeah, I can't wait to show y'all my new glasses. Who knew? Who knew? They had some cancellations, so they took the bomber too. Isn't this so much fun? Yeah, it's the ball. <laughs> So in Sam's Club, waiting on this guy back here to make his way up here. I don't know why when we come to Sam's, he thinks he has to get tweets. What did you get, Nanny? <laughs> What'd you get? Got some snacks. <laughs> what snacks did you get? Show me. Uh, a cinnamon pretzel and uh, uh, ice or something. Oh, not this time. Thank you. I got a lot of, a lot of Oh, good. You had some cash. Good for you, money. My baby over there donating. I never have any cash. So I love the fact that he's giving. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Because I know it's hard out here with uh, 
the price of food and all that. Look at them empty in his pockets, giving all that he got. And I have no cash. That's the thing. I never had any cash anymore. Ever, ever, ever. But he didn't hesitate. But anyway, he got his snacks. I wanted to take y'all in Sam's Club and do a little vlogging and like shop with me type of thing. But I didn't bring my camera in. I only had my phone. And then I wanted to do the scan and go, which I needed my phone. Because you know, scan and go, you get a couple of bucks off of... Um, different items and then you can bypass waiting in those long lines because what you get to scan and go you pay on your phone and everything but anyway that was so nice of you nanny i love how giving you are on the road. <laughs> oh, listen to him but anyway all right but we're headed to the car do you remember where we parked oh he dropped dropped his wallet thank you all right he dropped his wallet lord have mercy jesus but he just gave so the lord made a way but we didn't walk away without it but anyway i gotta find the car so all right y'all so we've made it home and we got some sushi and I like getting Sam's sushi because you know it's fresh because they make it right there in front of you. The guy was there making sushi and we are getting back on our healthy, healthy eating. I know we say it all the time, but you know what? If you have a setback, you just start over. So I got some Caesar salad here, the kit, got my spring mix and then my baby spinach, love cheese, a great little healthy snack if you do dairy, and these cheese are always so good. Arlo's it and the Havarti and Goose, really, really good. Got my little baby tomatoes, if that's, oh, cherry tomatoes or cherubs, whatever, baby tomatoes, same thing. And we got some blueberries. And we're not doing red meat, so I got some honey roasted turkey breast. But I couldn't remember if we still said we were doing pork or not, so I did get these ribs because they look so good. And in my defense, I only got the ribs because they were over there where they have their world famous Sam's um, rotisserie chicken. And he said he didn't get any chickens this morning, so he made a bunch of ribs. So I just got the ribs because that'll be a quick thing today um, with the salad because... I still have a doctor's appointment to go to at three o'clock, so cooking and all that is gonna be pushing it. And then they had this cute little two-pack of Prosecco. It's just the Sam's Club brand, but I thought it was cute, so we'll try that and do mimosas or something one day. And then these big old strawberries, so. That is the stuff that we got at Sam's. Not bad at all for a nice little Sam's run. This stuff will probably last us about I don't know, maybe a week with just me and Wallace because Nunny's not going to eat much of this. Now, Nunny will be helping me with this, so we'll start on this today because this is only good for like two days. But it works out because I like all the ones in the middle and he likes the ones on the side. So that'll probably be my dinner today with the sides. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, Sam's chicken salad. It's really, really good, low in carbs. So, all right, I'm going to the doctor. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay guys, happy whatever today is, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Um, I know I mentioned yesterday that I had a doctor's appointment after Ian and I went to go get our glasses and all that, and I'm so excited to get my glasses. Like That was definitely a bonus. It was time for me to get my eye exam and everything, but just getting him ready for the summer to go off to his internship in Boston and college, I really wasn't thinking about my stuff, so it was just kind of cool that I was going with him, and then it was like, you know what, while I'm here, and y'all don't pay attention to my nails I'm yeah holding on once again but um I'm like while I'm here I might as well get mine done so I picked out some cute frames I'll be putting some pictures I don't think I did any actual um recording with them on but I do have some pictures but anyway I had a doctor's appointment yesterday just my annual physical um which I mentioned in a previous vlog I was going to kind of skip it because I ended up having to go to the emergency room. Blood pressure was through the roof. So I'm like, oh, well, they did a workup at the emergency room. So no need for my physical, but no, I need to get my physical. But my appointment wasn't until three yesterday. Now y'all know I do one meal a day fasting. So I didn't even think about fasting before my physical just as something to do. But I normally only eat once a day and I normally don't eat until like six when my husband comes home. But yesterday, um, and you'll see, or you saw already in this vlog, we went to Sam's and got some sushi. So my greedy self on the way out to the doctor's appointment yesterday grabbed one piece of sushi 
and then came in and then she was like, have you eaten anything today? Cause we have to do your blood work and we want to do fasting. I'm like, well, I only have one piece of sushi, but because I was borderline diabetic last year, she wanted to make sure that I had nothing in my system so that she could get a clean read. And especially with sushi being wrapped with rice, that is mainly carbohydrates, sugar. She just didn't want to risk it. So I'm just running in today just to get my blood work done. And I made the appointment for 1050, so it's 1048. So I need to get my butt in there because I also have a board of directors meeting downtown Fort Worth. Well, not really downtown, but close to downtown Fort Worth at 1130. So I was like, hey, if I can come in at 10 to 11, get it done, then I can kind of, you know, cause I don't like all the go to this appointment and find something to do or go home. So I kind of like to do everything but I hate getting my blood drawn but anyway maybe that's why I'm rambling and not getting my butt in there like I need to but yeah so I'll let y'all know how that goes I'm sure everything will be fine I, I know I'm sweet but I don't think I'm a diabetical and I know that's not the right word but um anyway so that's what I'm doing y'all toodles I still got marks on my face from the mask. That's crazy. I didn't even have it on that long, but I survived y'all. I survived and I suspect nothing but wonderful results. Not going to stress it at all. So now I'm headed to my meeting and uh, the show must go on. So, and I didn't cry. I didn't cry. It was real quick. So evidently I'm fully hydrated because sometimes it's hard to get my veins, but today it was like, boom, boom, filled up them little tubes and I'm good to go. So the results will hit my app and everything is going to be wonderful. So stay tuned. I'm about to get on. I'm about to get on this road and head to my meeting. So I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all. So I am back. Got my water with my little flavoring in it. I try not to do the flavoring a lot because I know it's not the healthiest. Um, so I've heard, but when you're trying to do like a gallon of water a day and not drink anything else, Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. I mean, no excuse. I mean, healthy is healthy, but yeah, that's what I do, so. And this is my little alkaline plus water that I get from Sam's Club. And it's um, purified water with electrolytes added for taste with a 90.5 plus pH level. Um, I started drinking this back when I was training for the marathon in 2018, 2019, um, because I was getting leg cramps at night and somebody told me that alkaline water would help and so I found this at Sam's Club and it did do the trick and so I've just been drinking it ever since. But anyway, so y'all know, I've been running around today, had my doctor's appointment, well not a full appointment, but like I explained to y'all before, had to get my blood drawn. Then I went to my meeting and then I did a little shopping and I came home to some packages. So I just wanted to share those with you. I don't do a whole lot of shopping videos or unboxing, but um, I love watching those so again, I'm got, going to try to start incorporating like the things that I love to watch on YouTube with what I put on YouTube, um, especially for the women 50 plus, because what I've noticed is there are a lot of young ladies out there doing the vlogs and the unboxings and get ready with me, but there's not a lot of women who look like me and are my age who are doing it. And I'm just like, I enjoy it. So I'm going to start doing more of those because those are the things that I like watching. Um, and those are the reasons why I bought a couple of the things that I bought today. So I just want to close this little vlog out and just share with y'all some of the things that I bought to treat myself um, because I am going into a different phase in my life. I'm kind of leaving corporate America behind, letting a little secret out of the box, um, doing my writing and speaking and vlogging and coaching and all of that full time. Um, so I'm giving that a trial run this summer. And I just kind of wanted to celebrate that. Um, it's no secret. I just hit the 50 mark. I've been 50 now for six months, six whole months. It will be, I guess, tomorrow. Um, and I'm just like doing me and doing the things that make me happy. Um, not overthinking things, not um, selling myself short, not putting myself last. Um, that's just what I'm doing in this second half of my life. You know, I did enough of the, you know, sacrificing everything and being ashamed about this and feeling like I didn't deserve that. 
I ain't doing that no more. So, you know, and I talk about that a lot on TikTok. So follow your girl at TikTok at State Hall because we talk a whole lot about that self-love and what we ain't going to be putting up with no more in the two, too. So, yeah, follow me on TikTok. But anyway, yeah, so I did a little shopping today and I came home to a couple of little surprise packages. So I'm going to just share those with y'all. So I have really gotten into... Um, Skims, like Skims is so soft, so comfy. And so I've only had um, the undergarments before. So shout out to my girl, Adrienne. She got me um, a couple of pieces of Skims things for Christmas. And then I had gotten some other things like right around my 50th birthday, but I had never done any of the like loungewear or anything. So I had gotten this little ditty here a few months ago. And um, it was before, and it is windy as all get out outside. So I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear that or not. Hopefully not. But I got this little two piece. So this is a little crop wrap around. So comfy. Like I love the teddy bear thing. Like I have the little LV teddy bear um, fanny pack or whatever you want to call it. Because I wear it across my chest like that. But I just love the little teddy bear. So I had gotten this and I didn't share that unboxing with you guys. Because like I said, I wasn't doing that yet. And then I got the little joggers to match. So cute, so soft, so comfy. I don't wear this outside. I mean, I don't know if you can. It's like loungewear, some people do. But it's just my little in the house to be cute or whatever. Um, and so I decided to get the robe to match. Now, you know a lot of times with fabrics, because I love this, it washes well. I mean, just soft, just to lounge around. It's like a, my house outfit. But you know with fabrics, a lot of times, if they're not like cut at the same time, there can be a color difference, even if the manufacturer... Um, calls it the same color. So I went and bought the robe and I love the packaging too. I just, what I really love is how soft the fabrics are in these neutral colors. Like they're just the bomb to me. They remind me of a beautiful palette of foundations for everyone. So anyway, so I bought the robe and I'm just hoping it matches. So the little packaging, let's see. See all the different colors. Love, love, love that. And I'm just, come on y'all, fingers crossed, because I haven't matched it up yet. And I haven't seen it. So let's see. Yes, matches perfectly. And this is the color camel. Ah, the robe, I love this. Look how it's all wrapped up like a present, a present to myself. So this is just the full length robe. Cute, right? So soft, so now I have a full ensemble for the house so on those days where i don't have anything to do or anywhere to go uh you know i could still be looking cute in the house editing in my videos doing whatever i'm doing and i know it's june and i just bought a robe but that's because your girl is cold in the house all the time and the hotter it gets outside of course the colder i am in here because everybody else mean and wallace um likes it's chilly, so he keeps the AC going. And I'm not an AC girl. But anyway, I'm so excited, y'all. And it's so soft. It's so soft. I will probably throw this on this evening. It's so soft. And this little outfit I have on now, it's like a little one-piece jumpsuit romper. I got it from QVC, but it's uh, made by Uggs. So soft and comfortable. I love it. I love comfort. You know, I still want to be cute, but I want to be comfortable. So since I mentioned QVC, this came today, this charging stone, and it matches my granite countertops. Saw it on QVC. Um, shoot, that was just like Saturday, and today is Wednesday, but it came today, and this is a fast charger. So um, over the holidays, and I knew we were gonna be having company, and you know, whatever, I had bought, I hate destroying the boxes. I had bought a charging plate where it was like universal, and this is as well, but it's long and black, and it can charge like up to four or five devices at one time. And it works, but it's slow. And so it's like if you have it especially like for company or, you know, whatever, you don't want, you know, people aren't going to be here forever waiting on their phones to charge. And, you know, we're in a society now where everything, the microwave society, they want it fast. So I'm going to move that one up to... Dang, y'all, I can't get in here. I don't want to rip the box. But I'm going to move that one up to the loft area where Wallace and I sit and, like, watch movies and the football games and stuff and put this one down here because this one, uh, 
if I can get it open. It's almost open. This one is supposed to be like that lightning fast charging. So I don't think it charges more than one device at a time, but that's not really an issue because even though I got that one that charged multiple devices at one time, there was hardly ever anything on there more than one thing. So, and this one's just so cute because it's gonna blend right in. And it's in here tight. Maybe I should have did a dry run. So y'all see, I have not opened this before. But um, but I love good packaging. But yeah, it's supposed to be lightning charging and it's still, uh, I keep snagging this. That's the only thing about this material. I keep snagging it with my wedding ring. But um, anyway, oh, it's pretty. It's that lightning charging. So you shouldn't have to charge more than one thing. Take one off and it is heavy as I don't know what. So it is natural stone. Look at that, y'all. That's pretty. Really heavy. I'm gonna have to let y'all know how it works. But yeah, you just set your phone. And they say you can keep your phone or whatever in the case. And it will charge. So it um, has a little protective. Oh, that is pretty. I'm excited. So yeah, I got this on QVC. And it came today. So I'm like, yeah, let me share this with y'all. Look, this is like Christmas morning. I'm just set, like the kids do. Just set it to the side and go on to the next. All right, so the other thing that I bought today, and I got this from Sephora. Um, again, my girl Chelsea Janae uh, keeps mentioning this Fenty like body butter. And I use some Fenty makeup products, but I had never used any of the skincare. But um, I am very much into, you know, moisturizing my skin. Y'all know I've done um, videos about moisturizing from head to toe. And again, especially when you're a woman of a certain age, but any age you need to and again pretty packaging i just kind of ripped it off but um chelsea kept mentioning how this body butter also i guess is like an oil like you don't need anything else so i was like okay i've had luck with my other fenty products so let me try this so i'm excited not a strong fragrance which is good because you still want to be able to put on your perfumes and everything and you don't i don't mind layering fragrances but you need to know what goes together and you don't always know when it's something new so and it's a nice, thick consistency. Fenty skin. Ooh. Yes, y'all, I don't wanna put on too much because I have on all my stuff, but um, okay, I see what you was talking about, Chelsea. Let me hit that bow, that's how you know. Oh, nice, nice, silky, creamy, gives you kind of a little shea butter feel. I like it, I like it. So this is a nice body moisturizer. You know, I love trying things that, you know, other people have tried and especially when I've been able to kind of see, you know, cause you don't have to do it yourself. Let somebody else do it, spin that coin first. And then I like it though. And I love the packaging. So a good purchase, I got that. And then the other thing and the last thing that I picked up today, and this was just from Macy's because they didn't have it at Sephora is the good girl perfume but i'm glad i got it at macy's because they had a gift set which is so hard to find sometimes in the really popular um scents and fragrances especially like with what i want like i want a gift set that's going to give me things that i'm really going to use and this gave me that so i smelled it the good girl was fantastic i had thought about buying this a while ago at the duty free when we had gone um to mexico and i didn't get it and i'm glad i didn't because it was more expensive than this i think um macy's had this on sale for like 129 for this gift set pretty box excellent for a valentine's day gift and it came with the body lotion the full size and I don't know if this is a spray or a roller ball. I'm good with either one, really. Here I am again trying to open stuff. And y'all don't be talking about my nails. Y'all know I hold on to these nails until I know I need them to be looking good for something. So let's see. I think it's a spray. Let's see. No, it's a roller ball. Oh gosh, it smells so good. But this is good for your purse or for travel. I like taking these travel and not my big ones. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. So it is the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. It does not disappoint. And so, and a trick with the lotion and the roller balls, but is to 
mix it with something else. So I, whenever I get my more expensive lotions, a lot of times they're thin. Um, so they are mainly just to spread the fragrance. They're not going to get rid of a lot of dry skin and a lot of ash. But you also want them to last as long as your perfume is going to. And especially, it's a pretty big bottle and I love that. I cannot wait to display that with my other perfumes. Um, but you can add a little um, unscented oil to it and just kind of rub it all over so it'll last longer and it'll kind of do a job as well. So I'm excited, y'all, about my purchases. I was just out on the town by myself today, picked up a couple of things, um, cause you know, I had to uh, reward myself <laughs> for just having a good day. I stayed on task, I went to my meeting, I went and got my blood drawn, and that's hard for me, y'all. I mean, just going and getting that physical yesterday was a big deal, but then to have to come back today, like there was a time when I'd be like, never mind, evidently I didn't need that blood work, you know, I would took it as a sign. But no, that I did the responsible thing and went and got my blood work and I went to my meeting and ran a couple of other errands and I said, you know what? I'm gonna treat me today. There are a few things I've been wanting and I've been looking at and why am I putting it off? Tomorrow is not promised, but I hope it comes and when it comes, I want to meet it with my new stuff. So that's what I did. So I am excited about all this. Super excited at my robe because like I said, I've had this set for a while. So, you know, I have had things where I've gone back to get the matching piece or whatever and the color's a little off. So yay, that is definitely awesome. So I can't wait to wear that and be all cozy and be at my laptop or watch a movie or whatever it is that I decide to do with my little skims ensemble. That's what I'm going to do. So anyway, I just wanted to come back and share this with you all. And hopefully you take these days too. just treat yourself, go on a little shopping spree, do whatever it is that you enjoy doing, because you know, I am all about the self care, the self love, doing those things for you that you enjoy and just taking that time with yourself. And it doesn't always have to involve shopping and spending money, but even if it's just, you know, having a latte and sitting at the park and watching the birds in the pond, whatever it is just make sure you take that time to do that and just treat yourself in however that looks for you just make sure you do it so guys thank you once again for spending this time with me i love you all to bits and pieces just be sure to always be kind to one another but never stop living your life l y f e love yourself first explicitly and i'll see y'all next time bye there's that wave again. My sister said I wave like this. I always in my head, I'm waving like this. But she called me one day and was like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And then she keeps doing this. And I'm like, why are you doing that? She said, because that's how you wave. And I said, no, I don't. I wave like this. But I wave like this. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>